Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kim and I'm owner and creator at The Chalk Trunk. In today's video, I'm going to have three great projects using Redesign with Prima transfers and molds. One project, I use transfers on a jute and canvas tote bag, which is really cute. And another project, I embellish a paper mache pumpkin with molds. And I also create home decor with uh, transfers. So if you uh, like this video, please subscribe to my channel and um, leave your comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on my projects. Enjoy watching. For project one, I have this galvanized bucket. It's a hanger. And I'm gonna start off by using Dixie Belle chalk manure paint in fluff. And I'm going to paint in between the lines in the center of the bucket. I'm gonna paint two coats and let that dry thoroughly before the next step. To embellish, I'm going to be using Redesign with Prima 6x12 transfers and foliage collector. This comes in three sheets and are great for small projects. Here I'm deciding which image to use that will fit the center of the bucket. Then I will use my scissors to cut out the transfer. Next, I remove the image from the protective backing sheet and apply it to my project. I'm using the wood transfer stick that comes in the package to rub the image onto my project. Once I feel the image is applied, I start to slowly pull back the clear sheet, removing it slowly and still rubbing as I go along. You want to remove the clear sheet slowly because if the image isn't applied, you could tear the transfer. Now that the image is applied, I'm going to use the clear sheet to burnish my transfer. I just rub the clear sheet over the transfer just to make sure it's firmly applied and there are no bubbles. To further embellish my project, I've cut burlap strips and I'm going to hot glue the strips above and below the transfer. Next, I'm using Dixie Belle Paint Company's Best Egg and Wax in Clear to seal my transfer. For the final touch, I've added some fall foliage and sunflowers. What do you think? This project would make a great door hanger or centerpiece on any table. For project two, I'm going to embellish a paper mache pumpkin. First, I'm gonna start off by applying molds. This is the Redesign with Prima Leafy Blossoms Mold, and I'm using DAS, DAS Air Dry Clay. First, I'm applying cornstarch inside the mold. This is to prevent the clay from sticking when I go to remove the mold itself. I continue to press the clay into the mold, removing any excess. To remove the mold, I'll flip it over and slowly roll it out. To apply the mold to the paper mache pumpkin, I'm going to use tight bond wood glue. You can use any wood glue, and I'm going to brush it on the back of the mold. I found the easiest way to apply the mold to the pumpkin is just to flip it from my hand and apply blue painter's tape to secure it. Thank you. 
I repeat the process creating molds and applying them all around the pumpkin. Next, it's time to apply paint, but I wait about an hour for my molds to set up and dry a little bit before removing the tape. I'm using Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint in vintage duck egg to paint the entire pumpkin. To give the molds some detail, I'm going to use Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax and Dixie Dirt. I spray the molds with the Easy Peasy Spray Wax and I use an artist brush to dip into the Dixie Dirt and I apply it to the mold. Dixie Dirt is a fine powder and it needs something to stick. You can use a clear wax or even a dark wax, but the Easy Peasy Spray Wax is liquid and it just makes it easier when applying on the mold. Once the molds are covered with the Dixie Dirt, I use a lint-free cloth to buff out the mold. If you find the dirt is too heavy and dark in some places, just reapply the Easy Peasy Spray Wax and remove the excess with the lint-free cloth. To further embellish my pumpkin, I'm going to remove the paper mache top and hot glue a dried pumpkin stem. I'm also going to add fall foliage, leaves and berries to the top. For the final touch, I'm going to add Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax to the edges of the molds. This will make the mold pop on my pumpkin. I also created another pumpkin, as you can see here, with another mold called Botanus Floral. It looks like falling leaves. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought of this project. For my third and final project, I'm going to add some leftover transfers that I had to a jute and canvas tote. This is a really simple project and a great way to use those leftover transfers. I simply remove the image from the protective backing sheet, centered it up on my canvas pocket there, and I'm going to use a Redesign with Prima transfer tool to apply the image. Here I start to remove the clear plastic sheet from the transfer, carefully pulling back slowly and still rubbing with the transfer tool to make sure the image is adhered to the canvas. 
this is a little bit of a process because it does take a little bit of time to work with the fabric. But the outcome is great. Next, I'm using the clear protective sheet that I just removed and I'm burnishing the transfer, making sure everything is adhered and the transfer is not lifting. I'm using Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax to seal the transfer. You simply spray the wax onto the transfer and blot with a lint-free cloth. So how do you think this project turned out? I just love it. And it's a great way to use those leftover transfers. If you like these types of projects, please subscribe to my channel. Also, you can find me on the other social medias. I like teaching and inspiring others. Thanks for watching.